Yeah, first is first that they stopped him because he was speeding. And you could tell that they are drunk in the car. Mm, aish, but shabby. guess what? Uh. You going to hear or you hear a policewoman in the background mm. negotiating how much Shebe should, should actually give them. Mm. And obviously they were taking advantage because he's a superstar now. Mm. Like that lady kept on saying, and so that we can share. And I'm like, this woman is saying this. She's wearing a uniform, yeah, government, and it's supposed to be fine. This is the country that we live in. Yeah, and no one is shocked because it happens all over. Can you talk about the last week? Because, wow, the episode was so messy. I was uh, super drunk. I was talking too much. Nobody was stopping me. What was happening? Who could stop somebody? Because <laughs> we were all just... <laughs> and uh, when I didn't I guess I was like, I'm going to Nah, we were lit. <laughs> we were lit. <laughs> I had fun. I had so much fun. Um, but I've decided to reduce my... Intake. intake on the show no that's what i was thinking that i'm also going to reduce a bit because wow that no mess babies. can i tell you that i watched the episode after what 30 days because i couldn't stomach it i, I couldn't at all i i watched it on friday <laughs> like i kept like watching like two minutes two I'm minutes like, oh my god <laughs> why is this camera on my face <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we were all talking too much. Too much. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hala, hala, hala. What's good? What's popping, ladies and gentlemen? Boys and girls, welcome to another exciting episode of Adore Trends. Episode number three. Yes, no, sir. we're definitely doing it. We're definitely doing it. Inside, My name is inside. Real Makivano. They call me Abutiwama 2K. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing this show alone. Unfortunately, Denisha is not here, but a big Jess is in the building. Introduce yourself, superstar. What's up? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, oh, Big Jess. Small you, Big Jess. It's Forever you. and ever. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's jump into it. The first thing that I want us to talk about, right, mm. is toxic traits in a relationship. What are your toxic traits in a relationship? Personally, I do not believe I am toxic in any way. Is it? Gazal. Gazal. You must be a nice person. I was about to oh, say that. Barry. No, man. No one says I'm, Am I talk? What is toxicity? Let's 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 define it first before I incriminate myself. No, you're not gonna incriminate yourself. <laughs> Obviously, how can we even explain it? God damn, I'm trying to think. Producer, come through, come through, please. Are we saying things that make it difficult to be in a relationship with you? Or the things that you do? Things that you do that in a relationship and that obviously sabotage the relationship. I think the way in which you're explaining it. Yeah. On par. Okay, you can start. I can start. Mm. Well, oof, my toxic traits in a relationship, honestly speaking. I'm just bossy for some strange reason. I don't know why. I want things to be done my way. Why? Bossy how? I don't know. Like, almost anything and everything, I'd literally want it to be done my way. And sometimes, you know, it's important that you listen to the next person. Mm. Just so, obviously, you need to... We need to work together. Mm. You know, the truth is, when you are in a relationship, you're no longer thinking for one, but two. Exactly. So, obviously, it's a matter of, you know, working with someone. But for me... Ah, man, I'm just bossy. So when you say bossy, are you saying you I'm controlling saying... or you want people to do what you say they must do because you think it's the best thing to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But also, for example, you want to have chicken. Mm. I would say let's rather have pizza. Are we going to eat pizza because I'm craving pizza today? Yeah, but nah, <laughs> I, I have my own money. <laughs> With your pizza, please <laughs> keep your pizza to yourself. I want chicken. Unfortunately, that's and I've been trying to work on this, eh? but it's it's but a why? work what, in progress, I the, guess. What's this need to control things and tell people what to do? Or, are you saying bossy or, or dominant? Dominant is the right word to use. Mm -hmm. Dominant is the right word to use. Yeah. 
Okay. Maybe. So, what are your toxic traits in a relationship? Just one. It depends. If you want to give us, give us. Um, I don't like talking when I'm angry. Yeah. And then I become quiet. But then how do you sort out issues when you become quiet? I need time. Give me time. Okay, right. To okay. To process. The thing that makes that even more toxic, I think, is because I won't tell you I need time. I don't want to see you. Get out of my face. I'll talk to you. Hi, Gile Sharp. So it boils down to communication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I fail to express my emotions. I can talk about anything in the world except my emotions. And when you say time, how much time do you need as an individual? Uh, look, give me five to eight hours. Five to eight hours. Because that's least... cool. Like, and when I'm quiet, I'm yeah. actually doing some shit either way. So some things. But at least it's within 24 hours. There are people that are going to keep quiet for over 24 hours. And it's really worrying because then the next person obviously is asking themselves, okay, where are we? What's popping? Mm. What's happening? So at least it's it's within that particular day, which is still better. Nakiri, I'm mad at you yeah. or whatever the situation may be. But wapis, eba, eba float be around. I need to know you're around. I'm just not impressed with you right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But as long as you are still around. But what if they decide otherwise? Maybe they decide to leave you alone with your quietness. Perhaps maybe decide to go out. They'll see you tomorrow when you have decided to actually talk. Oh, and then that's okay. Because fortunately for me, I find joy in solitude. I like being alone. I don't Mm. mind being alone. So if you need time to go do whatever... Shut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm thinking about you. I'm not thinking about the problem because get low quarter. True. I'm thinking about you. I'm going to calm down. Then we're going to talk about it. But then I'm also like working on meeting the other person halfway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if I feel like ugh, I just need an hour. And I make it 30 minutes. For now, yo, if I'm to be mad, yeah. like I just, I just zone out. No, the thing I can is, zone out for two days. Like, we need to understand that in relationships, that head-butting thing yeah. is not a war between us. It's supposed to be you and me yeah. against the problem. You get what I'm I saying? Lo- I, lo- I love how you're thinking. <laughs> I, I really love it because I'm like, oh my gosh, if I were to be in that situation, most likely, I'm going to zone out mm. two good days. Yo, I'll, I'll talk to you when I talk to you. When you come back after those two days, I am happily in a new relationship. Ah! Uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> when a house of Wilina in those two days, what do you think I'm doing? Two who, days though. Who is talking to me? But it takes time for other people so, to okay, process. What if we're married? Even if we're married, even worse, we get to see each other every day. Worse. Yeah, I hope. So, hands get I it. Gift. Two days is enough just I to gift. cool down, you know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Well, it'll depend on the situation, but for me, really, relationships, yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot, right? Okay, let's do this. I take forever to process information, you know, come back to reality and yeah. all that. So let's say now you want your pizza. I let you order it and I order my chicken. Are you going to be mad that I got chicken still? No, no, no it's fine. It's fine. Mm-hmm. It's fine. As long as you can do it with your money. Because when I say my mind is buying pizza, my mind is buying pizza. I <laughs> don't my money. I my money. Yes. <laughs> now we learn every day. We learn, we every, learn every, every day, day. I guess. You're the yeah, reason... Yeah. People start drinking so much for no reason. Got the relationship. I never. I never. I Speaking of alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, speaking about alcohol, actually. Did you see? Mamela, mm. can you please talk about Chalabam? Oh, the song. The <laughs> song, get... the song. Before, before we even get into anything alcohol yeah. related, let's talk about the song. It's doing good. Yo, yo, yo. Actually, uh, let me let me quickly pull my iPhone 8. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been coming for me. Now, also, if Tanisha high as well. Yeah, the one day I'll upgrade. And we are going to podcasting to say <laughs> iPhone 15, hello. <laughs> that I bought cash. <laughs> that I bought cash. Mm. Anyway, 
Chola ba me the song right yeah. uh, by Tito M, Yepi, mm-hmm. and Sne, doing absolutely amazing in not only in the country, yeah. not only in the continent. Mm. I think it is following the footsteps of Mnige. Really? Yeah. Hey, because but nah. let me tell you. Shout out! Shout out! Big 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 shout out! Yeah. Let me tell you, this song mm. is currently number one on iTunes. This song is currently number one on YouTube. Number one on Audio Mark. Hmm. Number one on Shazam in the world Ooh. under the dance category. Number two on Apple Music. Mm. Number one on Spotify Daily Chats. Mm. And number three on Shazam Worldwide. Big shout out. Big shout out. Big shout well out. Done, big well done. Well done. We like to say well done to the people. You're doing good. Honestly speaking, Ama Piano has taken the world by storm. Like, we really have, you know, yep. our own space in the world stage at this point in time. Mm-hmm. Because I wish you could see the challenges from the UK. The challenges from the US. On TikTok, there. On TikTok. Dancing to this thing that I tried to do with Denisha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you guys were doing it the other day. <laughs> what happened, Vele? Guys, we move. My mind is telling me yes. But <laughs> <laughs> my body saying no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's good. That's good. But how did that even come about? Because I've heard the song. Yeah. And maybe because I'm not a I'm a piano fanatic. For me, it's just another I'm a piano song. Mm, mm, mm. I understand. So what? Is it because of the dance? Is because I feel like once your song breaks through go TikTok, it's gone. Yeah, you it's are gone. gone. Oh, it's in. Yeah, it's usually because of dancers. I mean, TikTok is a very good platform, you know, to actually promote music, especially if there's gonna be a dance challenge. Mm. You are going to eat, guaranteed. Mara, you know that dance challenge um was actually from a video that trended to like a few young people at a house party, I think. Can and I tell the you guys that, were dancing, yeah, but yeah, it yeah. was a different song. So how did... And can I even tell you that that video didn't really trend that much. Mm. It happens so that the dancer that they were actually doing mm. coordinated so much with the song. The next thing we knew it, it was actually the challenge. Mm. Because if you go back to TikTok, to the original audio. video, yeah, or yes, the audio... It's a totally different song. It's just gents chilling, uh, drinking, and doing their thing. Especially, you know, I'm a 2K, right? They have this <laughs> thing. <laughs> hey, man. So they were doing that. Different song. Mm. I don't know how did we even get to putting Jalabame to uh, that video, but it matched. And the next thing we knew it, boom, the world is dancing. Yeah, because there's this, there's two girls that yeah. I saw after. But very like uniform Yama Z and they, ah, they were doing this. Listen, so listen. That, that video went. Listen, those girls abasweti, man. Abasweti. I understand. At, yo, bamu. I was like, God damn. God mm. damn. But something interesting that I want to tell you about. Mm. Obviously, we've seen of lately with uh, Nigerians. Uh, they've been claiming our piano. And it continues now. <laughs> Ah, woo! <laughs> what's next, gift? Let me tell you what's next. Mm. All of a sudden, Ghana people are saying, actually, the dance is not new. It actually belongs to them. Uh-huh. It actually belongs to them. Don't let Lord kiss no for Speak okay. your mind. So, how come every time South Africa? does something that is extraordinary, that is recognized worldwide, there's always another country within the continent that's trying to claim it. But let's, you, let's do this. Yeah. Now. If I create something, get a spaghetti means. Yeah. We know it a spaghetti means lychees or ach. Am I still going to say, that's my creation? Well... I was about to say one thing that we need to know is that I I always say South Africa is the girl that she thinks she is in Africa. Mm-hmm. You understand? So and slowly the world. True. See. Well, in the world, we've claimed our spot in the world. So it's always going to be the thing. Hore, 
White King, Ratleima, Ratleim. I mean, we all know that we we're doing good. Mm. Music. Not only music, we have actors that are also doing absolutely amazing. Sportsy. And the world sports. We Beauty are pageant. world champions. Ah, come on, guys. Do you but, understand? Uh, but it's okay. You know, there's no beef True. within the countries. Every time you do something good, you got to expect some no, but hate. It would also be nice, you know, for them to celebrate with us as a country and the continent. I mean, for the longest time, you know, mm. uh, a lot of people have have had a lot to say about Africa, especially overseas. Yep. We are the first ones to actually, you know, uh, break boundaries, to actually open these doors. And we're not only opening doors for South Africans. We're opening doors for the continent as well. So if they were smart enough, they would actually, you know, be open Exactly my point. They need to be smart enough and actually utilize the opportunity because we're not only opening the doors for South Africans, if you're being honest. For everybody. For everybody in the continent. And this is, you know, the time where we're proving ourselves to say, actually, mm. don't look down on us as Africans. We yeah. are smart, we are super talented, and we make things happen. For real. By ourselves. By for ourselves. ourselves. For ourselves. When we started piano... It was for us. It was for us. Mamela. But Dr. Kodi Sabab singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, then thanks next to thing. TikTok, because dancing is a universal language. Very true. Everyone tries to challenge themselves to true, do it. True, true, true. So, I mean, it's okay. So, I don't know. It'll create something else. It's like, I'm going to go to Kenya. Because there's this line Drake says, it's, like, yeah. it's not about who did it first. It's about who did it right. Spot on. Spot now, on. So, if it is a dance from Ghana. Big shout out. What Big did you do out. about it? What did you do? But it's not also because I think from their side, the dance is more traditional. From our side, the dance is urban. The mm. dance speaks to the now generation. So, it's not. It's just that, you know... The movement there and there, it's it's a bit similar. When you put it like that, I get it. Because if um, people are outside of South Africa were to listen to a song, yeah, yeah. by Rate, and then suddenly by Gita in the song, like it's a dance move. Obviously, I know South Africans. We are going to say, that is ours. I understand. So like, if, if it, that's what it is, you should have capitalized on it. You snooze, you lose. We up now, a year or two. We did it. It's our challenge. But I wish you could see that dance. Say, like it's it's so traditional, and it's not exactly the same <laughs> as how we're doing it. Actually, it's it's they're not doing it the same way we're actually doing it. And so for me, when I saw it, because I had to do a little bit of a research, I was like, hey la clima, hey la clima. If no one hates, you're not doing something ground. True, very ground true, very true, very true, very true. But big shout out to that song, man. The boys are doing absolutely amazing. Are they representing us very well? You know, I get so excited whenever I see our people actually conquering the world because I know that they are opening a door, you know, for mm. the next person to actually yes. eat. That's one thing that I love. If only we could work on the crime and corruption the same way. Woo! Rebel influenced by Americans and the police and how they do things, we'd be far as a country. But do you ever think that crime will go down in South Africa? My chat also is that the crime starts, you know, from up there, from people that are in power, people that we trust, you know, to run the country. Mm. So what's going to happen down there? And when you actually talk about a crime, mm. you actually... You know, bringing up something very important that I also wanted us to talk about. Did you see the Shebeshit video? Where he was in the car with a friend. Yeah. First is first that they stopped him because he was speeding. And you could tell that they are drunk in the car. Mm, aish, but shebe. guess what? Uh. you going to hear or you hear a policewoman in the background mm. negotiating how much Shebeshit should, should actually give them. Mm. And obviously they were taking advantage because he's a superstar now. Mm. Like that lady kept on saying, Refetawanyana, so that we can share. And I'm like, this woman is saying this. She's wearing a uniform 
your government and it's supposed to be fine this is the country that we live in yeah and no one is shocked because it happens all over but that's my thing if south africa and indy serious Kamilao, they would make examples that the celebrities you know what i love this shit so much mm. uh on the first episode i spoke <laughs> i spoke about how things are done in south africa <laughs> And I was judged. And then I gave a little advice. I gave a little advice. I gave a little advice. 20 rand. 20 rand. Nah, the reason I never have 20 rands yeah. is because I don't like confrontation. Okay. And I don't like doing the wrong thing. The so wrong thing. So when I'm, when I'm in the wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why all my things are always in order. Ah, so when sense. you stop me, I can have the attitude I want. Because everything is in order. proper. In order. But what a license. There you Bar go. Bar disc. There you go. Bar breathalyzer. Okay. <sighs> Darling. What? I'm here. I'm, I'm here. here. <laughs> <We'll get done. laughs> like, what Release do you need me. from me? You gave me. So nah, it makes sense. Sometimes, ish, guys, crime doesn't pay, but... No, no, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. It doesn't at all, <laughs> at all. Anyway, talking about crime, what do you want to talk about? Uh, and I'm giving you a hint when I say talking about crime. I know. Hey. The crime. My husband... Ish. Ish. You know, I, need, I need a shot for this <laughs> because yo. this is one hell of a big story. Guys, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mm. Let's talk. As you all may know, last year, February, we lost a very, very big superstar. A global superstar. A global superstar. Super mega. AKA worldwide, you know, it was a hit, allegedly. Please don't come kill me. <laughs> I, I don't have nothing. Like zero. Mara. You know, um, there were speculations and conspiracy theories about around the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, die it down. And now yeah, the yeah. police are coming back with something. But it didn't die down before we even unpack the whole entire story, right? Mm. I watched a press release where the general commissioner invited media. Mm. They were updating us on the case, right? They said most of the time they kept quiet because they didn't want to jeopardize the case. And more than mm. anything, also, they didn't want the suspects to actually Flee. be on the run. Yeah. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you something. After you unpack it, it will mm. make sense. No, I'm glad. I'm glad you actually said that because I was about to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Ah, you know, let's give a care and I get to know, guys. It can't take a year to find things because my my chat is like you said, it starts from the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as a celebrity, you somewhat have a higher social ranking. True. So we expect the response around anything that happens. Sense to of you, urgency. Yeah, to be quite immediate. You know. Yeah. yeah. So the argument now is if. Someone as big as AKA Casey Akhelene also takes close to a year. Who are we? And also, apparently, the reason why our cases are actually dragging it is because we don't have enough judges in the country. Nalo I mean, could be judges. <laughs> <laughs> like being a judge because of the crime. So you see how everything kind of backfires on everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only the citizens, but also the people involved. Yeah. I'm a judge now. Wena, you you are a suspect. Very true. You're a very powerful person. You're a suspect. If you're a powerful person, you're going to assassinate me because you don't want anything on your name. Yeah. And there's already speculation still about who people think is behind this thing. Because the main conversation on x was um we get you catching the alleged sh shooters yeah but if you're not getting the big fish if you're not getting the person who made the call who requested this hit then it's pointless because if or if you're shooting the employ the employee the employer can get another employee to do another hit oh, very true so very true. get that person but you can't and allegedly Mang 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 mang. I you know the chat. You know I don't want to say anything. I don't want to die for gossip. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get one. So it's most people are like, um, it's good. You know that's what a father does. You know a father should protect their child. Da 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 da. But yeah. is it really? If okay. it was your child, 
you would have probably done the same thing. Very true, very true. Bravo. But also, I want us to to unpack this, right, so that we can, I mean, for the sake of context, obviously. So, first is first, the six people are arrested. Mm. And according to the general commissioner mm. said, in this six, there's a mastermind. I, I am. This is the person who actually, and yes, yes, my chair, right? We, we're going to get there. I'll tell you why. Mm. So, According to how they addressed the media, he said, out of the six, there's one person who's actually a mastermind, and this is the same person who actually made sure that uh, people get paid, and this is the same person mm. who actually organized cars. And this is how the story unfolded, right? AKA landed in Durban. He was followed by a BMW from the airport all the way to the hotel. And then, obviously... They had to chill a bit, mm. a.k.a. left at the hotel to the restaurant. When they got to the restaurant, there was one person from the six guys who was actually inside updating everyone outside. That's smart. So how do you actually plan it, especially from the airport all the way to the hotel, mm. from the hotel all the way to the restaurant? Big money. Like big money. Big money more than anything. Big money. So we need to look at the people who have big money. Now the chatter that I want us to have right around this. Mm. A lot of people still feel like the mastermind is not within the six. Of course not. Um, what are your reasons? Um, well, if they, 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 they want to murder you, they're going to obviously exactly. do... Exactly. What made the police say... This is the suspect. What I need... Now, nah, I am not easy to convince because I know how wicked yeah. government is. So, you must also remember, um, we are nearing elections. So, maybe the running party is trying to say, um, hey, guys. We are actually pro Vote for us one more time because yeah, yeah, yeah. we found AKA killers. And we're going to provide more jobs. My favorite more accents. Work, yeah, yeah. Everything for everybody, which is, I mean, it's been since 1994. Where are the changes? Where are the changes, really? Has you guys, I, I didn't understand that the part where you guys were coming for me that I didn't register to vote because my chat is at this point in time, when I look at the political spectrum, I don't see anyone who actually can represent me because yeah. all of them are corrupt as fuck. As sometimes, even though there isn't someone who can represent you, there's always somebody who is close enough. Yeah. You know? So, it's also just a matter of shaking the political party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understand? I don't want to delve into politics. I don't know anything about it. But just to say, hey, you must be careful. Yeah, yeah. You understand? And I, we need it, it more young sense. people. At least, you see, yeah. if you can have more young people, because then... They understand our generation better. They understand how we do things. It would be better than to have old people that actually, you know, run this country the best way they know yeah, how. When you past 50, guys, you, there's no way you can solve problems for people half your age. Exactly my point. Because first is first, you don't relate, right? Yep. You don't know what are they going through. And obviously, you might think that you have experience based on the fact that, that you have raised a child or two. But obviously, the raising part at home is different to what I experienced as a child, as an individual mm. out there in the streets. And the streets are vile. The streets are vile. Exactly, my point. They'll, they'll, they'll actually grow you whether you like it or not. True, true. What's next? But yeah, before we get into the next topic, uh, so the commissioner did explain that we going to find out about uh, the motive behind uh, the whole entire thing. Mm. And obviously, since, well, it's an ongoing case, at some point, if ever, you know, there's going to be people that are going to be added onto the case, mm. definitely they will make sure that uh, they arrest them. Can you believe uh, that some of uh, the people that were involved or among the six, others were already in Swaziland? Hey, How fast uh, do they move? You need to, imme with immediate effect. As soon as it's done, you leave. Because now, as much as everyone is saying um, this person's, the late lady's um, father did the right thing. Yeah. Right? So now they're also saying, 
So it means family, yeah, the other innocent guy who got shot must do the right thing, but revenge. And if that's the way we do things, everyone is going to die. And do you want to tap into the chat? Because I think this is a chat where a lot of people are actually afraid, right? Yeah. They keep on saying they want the mastermind, mm. but in mind, they actually have an idea of who an they think idea it is. Of who they actually think mm. organized the whole entire thing. And I'm like, okay, fine. Why are we running around at the bush? Oh, powerful. <laughs> I wanna learn is like, the like a little bit of Yeah. Oh, fella. Oh, 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 oh. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I never. I don't know anything. I was never there. Please. South Africa can't afford to lose superstars and like this. Hey, no, what? Yo, no way. No way. Not when we are creating the biggest podcast in Africa. No way. I never. Not when we're building yet to be the biggest <laughs> podcast. In Africa. Anyway, let's let's see what we have on 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 our prep. Mm. Couple of people that we actually need to to tap into. Mm. We spoke about Ghana, yeah. but there's also something that is happening in Ghana that I don't like. Yeah. Do you want to tap into that? So uh, let me let me fill you in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The our our, our guest uh, is here. No, yeah, the guest is here. I want to see the guest, please. Our guest must guest. come in because wow. What are you saying? We must take off our glasses. Wow. But like I said, also, we we on a podcast. You don't want people mimicking in the background. Just say whatever that you want to say. Say what you want to say. Exactly. We're not on TV here. Is that must come off? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Yes, sir. Woohoo! Get on our way. Get on our way. Get on our way. You get to see us. You're probably wondering why, really, too. We've been. Keeping it in. No, I get mad like guest there. And the first is first. Oh, not two shots in a row. <laughs> guest, we, yeah. we're already recording. Please come through. We have our very first guest on the show. Give it Big up for Scotty. Shout Scully. out, one, two. Oh. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? late, but... Before I'm we say here. anything, as punishment. Two shots are waiting for you. you two see? shots are waiting for you. Yeah, they're definitely waiting for <laughs> you. What's this? Tequila? No. No, no, You'll it's You'll find Jane. out. <gasps> Producer, pour, pour a glass for our guest, please. I want our guest to be pop drunk for coming late today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do something with this glass. It needs to be dashed. There you go. There you go. Big shout out one time. Yeah. Welcome Deshamo. to the show, baby girl. <laughs> Thank you for having me. How are you feeling? Excited. Are you, are you ready to unpack big stories? Yes. Are you ready? I'm very ready. Are you ready to trend? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no, okay, right. Okay, right. Co-producer is killing us. We were in our superstar era with the shades. Now a superstar came in. Now we don't have our shades Ex on. Uh, uh, for the uh. fact that our guest is wearing glasses, I'm going back to my glasses. Yes, I, yeah, sir. Okay. You, you guys know, know me. Vibe. You guys saw me from the first and the second episode. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, coming. Today we, we, we're, we're okay. Me. I'm sorry for being late. Like, what are we talking about so that we can include our guest? <laughs> okay, um, you were actually about to break the story. About Ghana. Oh, Ghana. Mm. Ghana. There you go. There you go. There you go. So we're talking about uh, the what's happening in Ghana, right? Mm. So Ghana is saying being gay, being lesbian, being trans, it's actually illegal in that country. Why? Why? Good question. I want to hear your opinion first. I just feel like it's an African thing. I feel like Africans don't, they're not used to people being gay, man. Especially but for me, it, it doesn't show, you know, being woke, it doesn't, sh it doesn't say people are smart out there because sometimes you just have to educate yourself, eh? But it's like telling, like, like people who were born in the 80s that, no, being gay is okay. But back then, they were told that, yeah, if you're gay, you have AIDS. Yeah, we're gonna HIV. Kill you. That's how like their propaganda is. So I think because the government is old too, they just don't yeah. want, don't eliminate. One reason the, why we actually they need... think that HIV will be a rampant thing mm. because but anyone can gay. contract HIV. Come on. True. True. You know, I'm just but... more concerned about why people are so worried about what people are doing with their genitals and who they're choosing to love. Exactly. And also, it's your life. Come on, you can do whatever. I mean, who's who's telling them what to do? with their lives mm. because they're just mm. old people that are sitting in parliament or that are chowing people's money. That's all. Mm. That's why the countries are not 
developing. They're not going anywhere. And a bad. wrong. And it's propaganda that they grew up on. Because you know, exactly. Like, you that's hyper make... mentality. You mm. can't tap out of it. Yeah. Once you've, once you kind of understand or accept that that's what it is. But they could learn one or two things from South Africa. Well, uh, can they? I mean, we are prospering for a reason, right? But that's why they they probably envious or something. You of know, course, some it people, is envy. It's envy. I can yeah. tell you now, now that African countries are saying no, no, no to LGBT, what, what? Mm. But what I'm going to fail. No, they, they, not they, they, they are already here. Yeah. <laughs> no, I still uh, can't. We love all of them who are here legally. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As long as you are here legally, then we yeah. get. I mean, yeah. we get. You <laughs> going on my paper. Yo, dude. <laughs> oh, and every time I bring up this chat, I don't understand um mm. why illegal immigrants feel offended when most people of a certain country unreceptive mm-hmm. of them. Yeah. Because are you telling me I can go to America now? You like, can't. Wait. You feel like you're... Like when in... In your dear country. Will they allow that? No, no, no they won't. Exactly. They won't. Exactly. Especially what are the standards that they have. Obviously, you are degrading them. Mm. Jeez. Uh, he's tough. No, it's tough. But honestly speaking, around the whole entire conversation, I feel like people need to invest more in, in learning because unfortunately, yeah. people are born like that. That's that's the sad part of it all. Mm-hmm. And because you're born like that, it will now be minimized into a disability. What? A yeah, disease of a disease some sort. Or like mental illness. Like, like what do yeah. You mean? They characterize actually, you know, like people in like the older people in Nigeria and Ghana, they characterize being gay, especially in Kenya, as a mental illness. Like genuinely, like there's something wrong, wrong with you. And it's just so crazy because it's not even like it's not it's that. Not. People are born like that. Hmm, like, That's what I'm saying. Education somewhere, somehow. And it is uh, a choice. Yeah, like, mm. yeah, like, if you're being honest. Yeah. yeah sure. like, do you think usually the people who are against um, different communities are mm. also probably ashamed and mm. they don't want to come out and reveal themselves? They probably will. Because got, yeah, we got to the podium, there's a guy in parliament, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's probably like hitting. You know what I'm saying? But so he's shouting the there on, on the parliament. No <laughs> money. Or else I'm telling the country what we did. And then they're like, you know what? I'm going to cancel the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. It's not legal here. You're going to go to jail. But, you know, really for me, if I come across someone who's who thinks like that, Mm. Yo, I'm 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 very judgmental, hey. Yeah, like I, I first, tend to I, like I, distance. I, I, I if there's a homophobic person like around, like, I start thinking, for real, are man. you smart I enough? You. Like I can't even engage with such a person because mm. for me, you've you you've literally said you are not smart. Mm. You just waking up, living for the sake of living, and that's about it. And it's very important that you go out there, explore, learn, mm. you know, so that you know. What's happening in your surrounding? I mean, it's, it's basic knowledge that is out there. Exactly, because yeah. I, I have um, a little cousin of mine. He's not little. Yeah. He's like 22, 23 type. Yeah. Um, he was very homophobic. Mm. And I didn't get why. I'm like, why are you so homophobic, dog? And he just didn't understand. Right? And I'm like, why do you feel like you need to understand something you, that is none of your business? Mm. I, just and accept I, it. Yeah, I had to sit him down. I told him that Allowed. literally... People who are mostly homophobic, mm. more is not the I IQ re- is not saying. <laughs> <laughs> they're not saying <laughs> because <laughs> people who can think will see how sexuality is literally the least interesting thing yeah. about a person. Exactly. You know, so whatever you do and with it is your business. Yeah, and straight people. Only this thing of every time a gay person is around. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, you chilling? Oh, by the way, Jess is gay, and then mm. suddenly straight person. I know. I don't like. Who said gay people want everybody? Yeah, <laughs> like, Who's because you not my type. Mm. I believe that everyone has their type. Yeah. You're not at the type. You're not at the target market. Yeah. And then when those people. Um, see that the gay people are not interested, mm-hmm. they become offended. 
exactly my point. What do they want? Leave the gays alone. Because there's also a book that was trending on yeah. Twitter. It's called the Gay BCs. Okay. Gay BC. So let's say A is for ally. B is for buy. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Yeah. And then on Twitter, they're like, ah, no. What are we teaching the kids? Da, da, da. What's wrong with the reading? And Literally, say- like, <laughs> they need Go to first. know. Because as a bisexual, yeah. like, if, let's say, a child will be like, why are you kissing a girl when you're a girl? Obviously, I want to be like, no, because this is called bisexuality. There's exactly. people out there who are, you know, attracted to male and female. Because mm. I've had a, I've had a situation where I've had a girlfriend, and my sister would be like, but why are you a girl dating another girl when you look like a girl or something mm. like that? And I'm just like, no, obviously, this is the thing. So they, it's good for them to know that there is a book and there's people like children and, um, learning. I feel like. Once it's taught at mm. a very young age, they're going to grow up knowing and understanding that there are different people around them. Mm-hmm. So they're not going to be offended or try to do something mm. to mm. someone who's different from them. So the fact that it's always a, a conversation that's sidelined mm-hmm. and within any family, no one talks about it. Very true. true. And then one hour hold us suddenly, no, you know what I'm saying? I hate gay news. <laughs> ah, man. Please, man. Can I tell you what I usually say on radio? It's either you're going to teach your kids or we're going to teach them. Yes. <laughs> That's that so true. Ah, it's, it's, I mean, beside that also, mm. it's it's out there on TV, right? So mm. it's either you do the honors of actually teaching them at home mm. or they're going to see it on TV. They're going to hear it on exactly. radio because there are people like us that are going to be... Talk about it. Because now, if you go to a, g- a gay person now or someone who's in the LGBT... Who taught you how to be gay? Yeah. And by Why gay, I, I just mean LGBT, right? But who taught you that? No one exactly taught me. My point. I was born like this. I've always felt different. Like, your teacher will hold your hand like, damn, teacher. <laughs> damn, teacher. <laughs> no. Damn, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy. You know, it's a game. But you obviously you won't say it, but it's just be like, yeah, yeah, oh, you yeah, have yeah. that one best friend. I yeah. had one best friend. So Rory, you know, yeah. um, from grade two, yeah, we loved each other. Mm-hmm. Like the yo, literally, we were intense friends. <laughs> yeah, like it was crazy every Friday. Cause I'm gonna transport one. Yeah, if it's straight, go high. We were there from four at seven o'clock. Beep beep. Land Rover outside, but Mulata every Friday. Every Friday. Guess what? Yeah. We are both gay as fuck, right? Ah. <laughs> you know, so yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. you just don't know. Because, yeah. like, growing up, we had boyfriends the whole way. Mm-hmm. And then by my high school day, just like, and that's you a start feeling. finding Which yourself. one is this one? You Which know? one is this one? Exactly. And it's, it's that one feeling. Sometimes you don't really have to express your yourself. Yeah. You know, the feelings will speak for you. True. Their feelings will speak for you. But, guys, for real. Leave gay people. <laughs> just leave them alone. Leave them alone. Man. They don't bother nobody. They're like, not doing anything. They're like, just, they're just living their mascara. lives. And, and also, pretty. if there's anything, gay people are successful. Gay people work 10 times harder. 10 times harder. Actually, yeah, big shout out. Big shout out. Big shout out. That's why Trevor Noah was asking, Have you ever been to the robot? Who went against it? <laughs> you that is so fast I've never seen a homeless gay person exactly. ever in my life. You know, that I've seen one in town. In town. In town. In but I've only one. one. I've seen one and a once. And oh once. no no no! In Park Town, um, yeah, yeah. McDonald's. Yeah. There's this one who's always asking like uh. for money, like hey, chummy. me. <laughs> Please but mostly it's the same person that I've seen. Five rand for the cherries in your lale cherries at home type shit, you know? Yeah. But I actually it's rare, wanted to look though. him up with a job there at Comcast. Yeah. yeah. But Okay, okay, now it makes sense. Anyway, mm. guys, let's talk about a DJ Mapori song. Yes. And Tulipi. What have they did now? So we were so much involved in their lives when Tulipi actually opened a case of assault. The country was divided, right? Yeah. Mm. Other people were canceling DJ Maporisa. Other people were saying, Mpokoto, <laughs> Tuli, go, mm. fetch him, show him. DJ Maporisa, a couple of days ago, posted Tuli P on Instagram. So, meaning that they're still dating. They're still here. But they yeah, the country was divided. Who had it been, though, like? 
they've been. I think I remember when I saw that they were still together, I was like, okay, you know, hey, bro, yeah. you can't you can't say anything. At yeah. this point, it's like, she's probably, they deep, you know, they probably mm. deep in something that we don't even know about. So I'm sure for her, it's like, but it's much difficult. As, yeah, yeah, continue. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, with her ish. So when I did see, I wasn't surprised. Oh, no, yeah. I wasn't surprised when I saw that they were still back together. Mm. You know, my chat around the whole entire situation is that what are we saying about women abuse? Ish. <clears throat> Ish. Because uh, this are, uh, especially people like Tule, these are people that should be, you know, on the forefront. Mm -hmm. So you're going to open a case, drop mm -hmm. charges. The next thing, obviously, you guys are back together. And look, we, we're not even against that, right? It's mm -hmm. really none of our business. But what are we saying to the yeah. battle that we are fighting on a day-to-day basis? I, f I feel like it low-key kind of... I don't, okay, I don't want to say because I feel like people are going to come for me. But it, it No, let them come for you. We'll protect you. This is the biggest platform in Africa. <laughs> So, you Pending. know, in terms of when you're with someone and they hit you and stuff, like, yeah. obviously, there's the aspect of, no, but this is my love. Yeah. But it's like you're blinded by the fact that this person is physically, like, putting Ew, hands on like, you. Get a G-Wagon. Get a G-Wagon. Get you the <laughs> digmatized. I, I it's so shallow for me to I say this. <laughs> you know, like, I feel like it makes it pointless for the thing that we're fighting for, kind yeah. of. So, Yeah. Cause mm. me, okay, continue before. I I genuinely feel like the problem is also the men in the victim's life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you, all of y'all are my siblings. Mm -hmm. I'm in an abusive relationship. You can see, you can hear, mm -hmm. but like I said earlier, let's have to wait to again. Again, yeah. However, there. As soon as you see something happening to someone you know in your family, and it's like as the brewers, like me, this is a literal existing example in my family. Yeah, had a cousin, abusive husband. My cousins, do country so that we can quickly wrap up. What are uh, you listening to now? Check them. What me? are you going to listen One to? One song you have on repeat now. Is Hip hop artists. Uh, I'm interested in. Must in it be South that. African? It can be. It depends. Well, it doesn't depend. What are you currently listening to, either internationally <laughs> or locally? I'm listening to IMDDB drop like a new album. So I'm listening Hala to it. Yeah, You're going to introduce me to that, yeah, uh, sure. that album. What are you currently listening to? I'm currently listening to one song and I hate yeah. myself for it, but I love it so much. Mm -hmm. It's by Usma Mani and Which one? Um, Tony Diamond or Tony Daimani. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Um, he wrote Kibela something, yeah, wrote to the riches or some shit. No, I heard and also, this other artist, yo, it's other female artist. She has a song called Bean. Oh my god, love, love, love. It's a song called Bean by Scammy. Oh, baby, what are you listening to? What are you what listening to? I knew Guys, let's get out of here. Anyway. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You have been watching the third episode of Dot Trains. Make sure you tell everybody around you that the biggest podcast in Africa is underway. Thank yes, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Big shout out, big shout out. Big shout out, Scummy. Thanks. Thank you for coming, Scummy. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Where are your shots, guys? May I, I finish my. Uh, uh, Everything cheers, my dear. Cheers. 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 Big shout out one time. Big shout out, big cheers. shout out. Cheers. We are making things happen. We're out. <laughs> yes, sir.